We faced plenty of adversity last year. We had several players miss time throughout the season due to injury. Albany beat us by 44 at their place, which could have shaken our confidence and overall belief. Vermont got us pretty good in the grand opening of the event center for their 23rd straight win in the series. UMass Lowell led us by 11 points at the half of the America East quarterfinals. But we proved time and time again that champions always answer. Jarris Lyles uses the ball screen with three seconds, two, puts it up, and in! Tip play, but I don't think you have time for a tip. Henson with the long pass. And UMBC is going dancing in 2018. Yes, UMBC won its first America East Conference title in a decade, on the home court of the defending champions and against a program that had recorded 23 consecutive victories over the Retrievers. The shot punctuated an amazing chapter in UMBC athletics history, or so almost everyone thought. Retriever Nation was born in 1966, but the world learned the answer to the question of what is UMBC in March of 2018. The events in that one week span do not just happen randomly. 45 victories and a culture of winning in two seasons under head coach Ryan Odom and his staff set the stage for the 20 point victory over the nation's best team. An offensive juggernaut the previous year, the players bought into a more balanced approach last season and improved over 200 places on defense amongst the nation's Division I programs, allowing nearly 10 points less per game. However, the Retrievers still managed to bring the heat offensively, smashing year-old records for trays made, with contributions coming from a host of sources. Shooters keep shooting. The 2018-19 season started in April of 2018. While continuing to revel in their achievements, the returning players quickly turned the page and approached spring workouts on the court and in the weight room with vigor and determination. And when newcomers joined them in the summer, the intensity ramped up another level. I've been so impressed with this group. The culture in our locker room has never been stronger. Our players have created a culture of excellence. It starts with a belief in self, then a belief and trust in teammates, 
And finally, an understanding that no matter the obstacles that come our way, that we will fight, work, and answer together. We will not try to recreate that magical moment that happened last March. We will always be thankful for that moment for UMBC. We will now forge ahead in search of new and exciting moments that are out there on the horizon for us. The lights are almost on. The retrievers are ready.